Welcome back to another episode of Seagull Style. In this episode, we try to continue the momentum we started to build as we solidify our place at the top of the table. We've got more games against West Ham. Yay! We've got the closure of the January transfer window and a bit of a technical glitch. Sorry about that. If you're enjoying the series, please remember to subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date with it all. New episodes are out on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 11am. Also, if you like the video, like it then. Do a like. Go on, do it. Do it now. Do it. Do a like. I'd also love it if you'd leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the video, what you think of this Brighton save, any suggestions you've got, player ideas, whatever. I'm also really enjoying hearing about everyone's football manager saves that you're running yourselves. Are you playing as Brighton? Who are you playing as? I'd love to know how you're getting on. Let's get on with it, shall we? We commence with the least exciting match you will ever see. And it's against West Ham. Yay! Here we go, game two against West Ham, this time in the FA Cup, again, face to face with Roberto De Zerbi. <sighs> Come on, boys, let's show him who's boss. Come on. Uneventful match so far, we've not had a single highlight. <laughs> Loads of shots, just really poor from both teams. No highlights in the first half. Put on a worthy display. Come on. Bit of a stalemate thus far. Good save. Get some young blood on. Neves. Goulet. Okay, you've really let him loose there. That was shocking. Okay, I really don't want a replay. That's quite annoying. But what a shit game. <laughs> Not happy with the performance. Oh well, looks like we'll be facing West Ham again for a third time. <laughs> Fulham next up at home. With the FA Cup replay, the next game up, I'm not too bothered about that. So we're going full strength against Fulham. Come on, boys. The league is undoubtedly our priority here. So this is the most important thing. It's wonderful stuff. Given away, though. Poorly. Oh, but it's Olmo. That's what you get. That's the high press in effect. This pressure. Look at that. Are you okay chasing down? There's Tapia winning it for Olmo. That's not giving up. That's what we want. That's the Brighton spirit. Don't give up. You lose the ball, you win it back. Oh, wow. Big man. Big goal. It's Ludovic Ayorke. Look at this. Aaron's happier again. Doing brilliantly today. He wants to leave the club as well, which is upsetting. Excellent work, Tapio. You've been excellent today. I don't want to lose you. If you can hear like a licking noise, that's my dog. <laughs> He's right by the microphone. He's down here. Pen has to be. There it is. It's a pen. It's a your okay? Got a decent record from the spot, and he continues it very good. He's only missed once for us from the spot ever. I should clarify, I've got like a lap bed for my dog, and my dog is licking that while he's on my lap. <laughs> Just for clarity there. Ah, oh, Very sloppy. Ramiro, that's disappointing. Oh, for f***'s sake. I'm going to keep attacking, though. I've got to keep attacking. We, we need to be winning this game by... A, well, we don't need to, but it would be good to be winning this game by a few goals. Fulham, they're 17th. Nice. Nicely worked. Oh, oh Tapia's lost it now. Oh, excellent challenge by Weigl. Risking it on a yellow. Makoku does it justice. Brilliant stuff. Well done.
Beautiful stuff. Goulet. Oh, that's spectacular. What a finish. Oh, the youngster. Does brilliantly there. Lovely touch. Beats his man. Beats another and then lofts it in. A gorgeous chip. Such composure on such a young set of shoulders. Oh, and it's Arda Goulet again. Oh, a bit too enthusiastic, that one. Curb your enthusiasm. Very poor to give that chance away, but it's okay. 5-3. Treating the fans to a bit of a spectacle. Lamptey, what on earth are you doing there? Letting that pass. Shocking. Job done. Very good. 5-3 win. Very happy with that. Very nice. West Ham with a game in hand, but if they lose it, that puts us four points clear of them in third. Okay, to be honest, I'm sick of the sight of West Ham now, so let's just get this over with. We're playing a reduced strength team, giving Halash a go from the uh, youth team on the left side. A reduced strength team. Just want to get this out of the way. Nevertheless, come on, boys. There it is. There's four nails. They've gone full strength. They're, you know, if you want to do that, that's up to you. You've clearly misunderstood the gentleman's agreement, Roberto De Zerbi, but we all know you're not even a gentleman. Are you okay? Look at that hustle from a you okay? Oh, let himself down there at the end. Nicely mopped up by Alderete and brilliantly done. Halash, what can he do? Oh, he's done brilliantly. And a you okay has finished that beautifully, but Halash did the work. What a talent. Lamptey finds her lash. Lovely little ball through. And a Yorke thumps it. Absolutely thuds it in. <laughs> Zuma. <laughs> oh, I'd love to stick it to Deserbi again. I would love to. No love lost between us. Oh, Rossier. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, that's the end of that. Get the game done. Leon McGarrity gets a shot at right back. Talented youth player, Leon. And it's a penalty. Surely. Ref. Give us the pen. There it is. It's a Yorke to take the pen. No mess in from Ludovic. On a hat trick now. 20 goals so far this season. He's on a streak. Not like that. Spirited fight back this with 10 men. Ooh. Commentator's curse. Scamaker looks really handy in this. Ooh, Lamptey taking a risk there. McGarrity, go on. Oh, lack of experience there. Oh, dear. Good save, Ramiro. Well done. Stay attacking. We need a goal. Doesn't matter that we're down to 10 men. We still need a goal. Beating him on XG here as well, which is upsetting. One final push. Ah, good riddance to the FA Cup. Good riddance. And good riddance to f***ing West Ham. Clear rivalry developing here. Come on, blow the whistle. Get it over with. That's that. Shoddy. Okay, Brighton against Tottenham now. Tottenham having a bit of a shiter of a season, really. They're 14th in the league at the moment. Obviously, Tottenham tried to steal McAllister off us. In the end, he went to Arsenal, which will upset him even more. So I'm kind of pleased about that. Stole Trossard. They're just an annoying team who are just kind of trying to pinch all our players. And it's really annoying. So let's stick it to them. Strong side that we've put out. And Trossard is benched again. Have that, Trossard. Have that. How's that working out for you? We're in the top three. Where are you? 14th. Hope you're happy with your decision. Enjoy. Hope you get relegated. Deserter. Come on, boys. Oh, dear. Kulisewski, of course. Oh. Ramos, what was that? Aaron's, what are you doing? Sheldrop, well cleared. Come on, pull yourselves together. It's all Tottenham at the moment. Stay strong though, boys, stay strong. You'll get a foothold in this, and once you do, make it count. Lovely. Arana. Ah, oh, Sheldrop, you've choked. Easy chance. Arana, you've lost out, you absolute knob. F Who's Fratesi? Oh, frustrating. Come on, Danny. There it is. Luis Felipe or Ramos. Get in. Bullet header. Rolling back the years with Luis Dunk that. That's a Dunk classic. 
Lovely header. Bit of a shoddy performance that. I might drop down to balanced and just try and have a bit more of a solid foundation for the game. Do like the name Destiny You Doggy. Danny Olmo. <laughs> it's another name I like. Excellent. Very much against the run of play this. We don't really deserve this, but we'll take it. Sheldrop, another lovely ball through. Danny Olmo. Composed. Very nice. This is better now. Are you okay, sir? Is it? Does it count? Why would that not count? Was Makoko off? I was going to say. It has to count. Are you okay? Poachers finish. Right place, right time. Oh, committed from Max Ahrens. Love that. Yes. F*** La Celso. Him pumping up the crowd, the prick. Sheldrop's injured. Okay. Uh, we'll have Danny out wide. And we'll maybe put Lukic in just for a bit of solidarity. In attacking midfield. He's got that tackling stat, which I really like. And it's very rare in an attacking midfielder. Are you okay? It does count. Sticks it in. Two for Are You Okay today. Almost there. I felt like there was maybe a foul or it might be offside or something, but it, it counts. We'll take it. Lamptey. Through to Olmo. Oh, it's a penalty. It's an Are You Okay hat trick opportunity, potentially, if this gets given. It looked a pen to me. But I would say that, wouldn't I? No penalty. Nothing given. I'd love to see a replay of that. Made some terrible decisions on the bench here if I do this. Well, in Luis Felipe, very good. Vigal into Makoko. Running on empty at the moment, Makoko, but he's giving it everything he can. Tielemans. Oh, Lewis Dunk. He's, he's not quite got it anymore, the, the goals from headers thing. Excellent clearance from Dunk. Oh, Alderete, what are you doing? Giving away a penalty there. Nervy last few minutes this will be. Guessed right. Okay, we've got three minutes to hold on. Sticking with a balanced mentality. There we go, full time. 4-3 victory at home. Very good. Sheldrop out for five to six weeks. Oh, God, that's bad. <laughs> Brentford away. Always a tough game, this. Thomas Frank is a manager I really, really like and respect. So we've really got to go for this. Couple of important notes. There's been some transfer activity, which I will update you on at the end of the window, which closes in three hours. But suffice to say, there's been some movements. <laughs> we needed a fullback. We've brought in Zeki Celik here. Very handy from Roma. I like him. We'll go into details about this in a bit, but it was necessary. He's in the, in the squad now and he starts on the bench. Furthermore, because of Sheldrup's injury, which left us a bit short at left wing, I've recalled Alberto Molero from his loan. He starts tonight. Right, come on, boys. Come on, Molero. Well in, Danny. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Great work. Oh, that's not so good. <laughs> nice. Caicedo. Molero. Finds Olmo. Oh, Makoku, have you missed that? Oh, God. Maybe I should have started balanced. Tony, lovely header on. And Buemo, who I've always liked. Squares it across. And on Yaker. Smashes it in off the bar. Come on, it's early doors. Early doors. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Just be offensive. I'm normally quite good at that. Go on, are you okay? He's only got so much in the tank are you okay, unfortunately. <laughs> Rossier bombing it up the right. Oh, he swings it in. And are you okay with an amazing header? That's a glorious goal. Fantastic work from Rossier bombing it up the right. Swirling a gorgeous cross in. But look at this from a okay. Whips it in. Lovely movement. And then a looping header into the top corner. That is beautiful, are you okay? That's just what I want from you. I knew this would be a tough one. Celik comes on for his debut. Bunch of subs on now. Is there anything we can do to win this game? Let's push. Oh, Arda Goulet. Dying seconds. Go on, swing it in. Oh, Malero. David Ray are wasting time. Go on, hurry up. Come on. Get it up there. Oh, chance missed that. That's a chance missed. 1-1. One, one. We should have won that match. The transfer window for January has now closed and we have done quite a bit of business. Mainly departures. Leaving the club, we have Anteft Zongi for £6 million. Solly March leaves us, sadly. For 11.5 million. Roberto Gagliardini, unfortunately, 
the legend that he is, has moved on for £8 million. Robert Skov, £17.5 million. Renato Tapia, £14.5 million. And Tarek Lamptey for £18.5 million. Sad times in terms of signings. We've signed this guy, Zeki Celik, from Roma. He cost us £9 million. Quid. He's a good replacement for Lamptey. And it gives us that cover at left and right back. Good stats, tackling, passing, marking, first touch, dribbling, crossing, pace, stamina, low aggression, which is important, high work rate. I think he'll be a good signing. 26 years of age, considered a squad player, although we've had to pay him quite a lot in salary, 77 grand. But I think this is a good signing. I think he's a very, very useful asset. And considering the amount of money we got for Lamptey, this is a bargain. The only other signing we made was this guy, a youth player. Thought he looked pretty decent. Again, I don't know what's going on with my scouts. They suggested that he would be a five-star rated player for the future. Turns out he's three and a half. Don't get what's going on there. But he was available. I think he cost 10 grand from Willem 2. So nothing lost, really. Hopefully he develops. Could turn into a good player. I don't know. But disappointed with his rating once he got to the club. Feels like there's a bit of, bit of manipulation going on there from the agent, maybe. I don't know. Okay, Wolves away now. This is another tough game. They're coming thick and fast now. It's Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday. Intense stuff. Zeki Celik gets a start at right back. Alderete comes back into the side. Arda Goulet attacking midfield. It's just we've got to move the squad around a bit, but we're still going as strong as we possibly can. We're starting off with a balanced mentality. Let's see how this treats us. Well, claim Romero. Go on then. Release him out wide. Look out wide. Look out wide. Oh, almost swings it in. Oh, dear. Keep that pressure on. Oh, very framey. What's going on there? Lovely goal from Makoku, but I don't know what happened to my computer then. Very framey. Zeki Celik lays it into Olmo. Pops it into Makoko, and that's a nice goal. Celek performing really well so far. Well, claim Ramiro. Go on then, on the counter, go. Lovely. Celek bombing forward. Wanted it back. Still got to develop that relationship with the other members of the side. Ada Goulet into Makoko. Celek whips it across, and he gets an assist. Considered an own goal. But I thought Celek did brilliantly there. Driving forward. Look at this overlap here. Wasn't really an overlap. <laughs> Did well though. And Veloso's had a nightmare. <laughs> Vallejo has had a nightmare. Oh, look at that touch from Celek. He's really impressed me. Olmo. Oh, he puts it away. Fantastic stuff. Lovely ball from Arana. And then Olmo rides the challenges, bangs it in. Lovely work. 3-0 at half time. Very, very happy indeed. And Danny Welbeck comes back from six months out injured as a sub at half time. Go on, Danny. Go on, son. Here he is, Danny. Oh, look at that class. Mm, yeah, it's a goal. Disappointing. All right, though. We've still got this. We're still okay. Sticking with balanced. Okay, go on, Danny. Oh, dear. <laughs> He's a bit ring rusty, bless him. It's all wolves now. It's all wolves. We can do this, though. Oh, what's going on with the frame rate here? No idea what that's all about. Very weird. Apologies for the frame rate here. I don't know what's going on. Good result. A 3-1 win. Very happy with that. Take that one to the bank. A nice victory. Well done. And that result takes us back into third place. Oh, it's tight up there though, isn't it? West Ham breathing down the neck of top four. I would hate to lose top four to West Ham. Roberto De Zerbi. I would hate it. A couple of other bits of business concluded outside of the transfer window. We've managed to get Endrick, like future of football, on loan. The loan will begin at the end of this year and we've got him for 11 months with an optional future fee. The optional future fee is around £15 million. He's not interested in a permanent move currently. My hope is that I can make him fall in love with the city, with the fans, with the club, with the players around him, and persuade him that Brighton is the place to be for him. Would be an incredible 
asset to us. And to sign a player of Endrick's quality would be an absolute dream. By locking in that future fee now as well, I think by the time that we actually come to get him and 11 months thereafter, he will be worth so much more than that. It will be an absolute billy bargain and it will be worth chucking whatever wages we can at him. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be saving my transfer budget as much as possible to convert it into wages to offer Endrick to persuade him to stick around at Brighton. We've also done a deal for this guy, Jao Veloso. Uh, £10 million. He's got a massively good rating. He was A-. minus. He looks really, really useful. Excellent determination. Good flair. Already all the stats you want in the right place. So, again, one for the future. And again, he joins us at the end of the year. Back to the Amex, Brighton versus Burnley. Estupinian comes in at left back for Arana, who's still sort of struggling a little bit for fitness. Ayorke needs a break. Marcos Leonardo is back from international duty with Brazil under 23. He goes straight in up top. Molero on the left wing. Also, a rare start these days for Lewis Dunk. Burnley 19th in the league. We can do this. All right, come on, boys. Burnley did us earlier in the season, I believe. Let's not mess around. Oh, God. Don't let it happen again. No. Well in, Tielemans. Desire. Makoko. Fantastic work. Goes down as an own goal. I'd give that to Makoko myself. Let's see it properly. Cuts back inside. It's harsh to take that away from Makoko. That's a classic pro Evo goal, that. <laughs> Run down to the, the byline. Cut back. Come inside and then bang it into the far corner. That's a classic Pro Evo goal. Ah, oh, very nice. Does it count? Swung in by Olmo. Lewis Dunk rises like a salmon. Checking decision. He's on. He's on. That's got to go down as a dunk goal. It is. Get in there, Lewis. Good lad. Dependable. Captain fantastic. Good performance this. Nothing spectacular. Oh, stupid and Very wasteful in possession these days. Aaron's now out wide. Oh, if Ayorke's in there, that's a goal. Leonardo, not known for his aerial prowess. Oh, no. Stupid has been piss poor today. Oh, João Neves gets a goal. The forgotten man at the moment, João Neves. Fallen out of favour a little bit. He's not really impressed that much. Nice to see him get a goal. He deserves it. Nice to see him get a goal. Stupid and bombing forward. Come on, Purvis. Just, he just can't find a pass at the moment. Oh, Neves. Dominant performance. This is great. This is much better. Oh, and it's a Yorke gets a goal from the bench. And a stupid Ann shuts me up with a good assist. That runs half the pitch. Unchallenged. Hammered in by Ayorke. A no-nonsense finish from a no-nonsense player. I love him. Lovely confidence booster, this. Weigel out to Goulet. And it's Ayorke with another. Two for Ludovic in about ten minutes. He's having a lovely time out there. Can he take the match ball? Oh, the Goulet is just class isn't he he's got such a nice way about him lovely first touch can he do it are you okay going for a hat trick we have another chance purvis with a foul of course he's getting sent off you bell end <laughs> oh dear very disappointed today in purvis really not good <laughs> we shouldn't concede six goals now we should be all right <laughs> i mean <laughs> three minutes of normal time left a goal every 30 seconds, it could happen. We're done. We're good. We're good. Very nice. That result sees us stick with our third place. Four points clear of West Ham, who are still cracking away at it. But looking good currently for Champions League again next season. There we go. We're halfway through the season. The transfer window has slammed shut. We've said goodbye to some beloved faces. Now it's time to look to the future and build on what we've done so far this season. It's looking great, I think. Can't wait to see where this goes. It's really, really shaping up nicely. Once again, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it. Leave a comment. 
share it around, whatever you can do. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. That's it from me. I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one.